Last Friday, General Abdurrahman Tiani declared himself Niger's new head of state. He did so after ousting President Mohamed Bazoum, the very man he was meant to protect. But who is General Tiani and what do we know about him? Tiani spent two decades climbing the ranks of Niger's army. And in 2011, he was awarded one of the military's most prized appointments the head of an elite unit that protects the president. According to a bio released by the new ruling military council, Tiani received training in France, Morocco, Senegal, and in the United States, where he attended Washington, D.C.'s College of International Security Affairs. He also served on U.N. missions in the Ivory Coast, Sudan, and the Democratic Republic of Congo, and has received some of the country's highest military honors. So... Why did one of Niger's most decorated generals seize power on July 26? Tiani says that soldiers had seized power because of worsening security in the country, driven by a decade-long Islamist insurgency that has killed thousands of people across the Sahel. The current approach has failed to secure our country, despite the heavy sacrifices made by Nigerians and the appreciable and appreciated support of our external partners. This justification echoes that of military leaders in neighboring Mali and Burkina Faso, who have also snatched power since 2020. Just last week, Niger, one of the world's poorest countries, was seen as the West's last ally in the region. Now, Tiani has become a central player overseeing the fate of a region where Russian influence is on the rise. Regional powers have threatened military intervention if Tiani does not return Bazoum to power within days.